When we're talking communication services, really broad group. I mean, we have Alphabet that's actually down 2% for the week, and then we have other names like Match Group up 7% for the week. Our parent company, Comcast, also rising 6%. So give us a sense. Why are we seeing such a, a, a varying in performance in this group, and why is the overall group down a quarter of a percent for the week? Well, as you just pointed out, Frank, it's not a very homogenous group. You've really got some pretty disparate uh, performance. So I think it's difficult uh, you know, to generalize. I mean, there's certainly been a malaise in the broadband uh, market in terms of unit ads, although there have been some exceptions, like T-Mobile Internet has done exceptionally well and has taken share. And then, of course, you've had the issues with the Hollywood you know, strike and, and just the activity uh, viewing gravitating towards streaming and away, away from linear. So everyone, including uh, NBC Universal, is really with Peacock, is trying to uh, trying to balance that out. So it's kind of tough to make a blanket characterization, but it's right. certainly been a a frustrating group at times. So you're mentioning the streaming space. One of the better performers this week was Warner Brothers Discovery. Is that rise simply off confidence in their streaming offerings? I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I mean, that's a stock that we have a buy on. And frankly, I mean, the free cash flow yield is well into the double digits with the cost reductions that they're doing. And they also have a outstanding, uh, I think quite good Christmas movie slate, even the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has generated some negative buzz. I think it's going to do a little bit better, or a lot better than some recent superhero uh, movies. And then, and then Wonka looks uh, looks pretty good as well. So I think there's some excitement there that they're revitalizing the creative execution uh, at Max, uh, really H yeah. HBO, and then uh, the studios. You know, finally looking like it's, it's normalizing to have one of the better performances. Uh, Okay. on a sustainable basis. Matt, you're coming with stock picks and movie picks, man. You're doing it all. Um, <laughs> one thing I want to ask you about, uh, in this communication services group, we have a lot of those broadband players that you were talking about. Isn't broadband tied pretty closely to this AI story? Why aren't we seeing more action in this sector related to the enthusiasm over AI? It's really been an incredible frustration for the group because if you look at, at networks and you know, both fiber and, and 5G, it's been absolutely integral to global GDP growth. And really, you've had kind of a free rider effect almost first with e-commerce and then with SaaS and, and now with, with AI. And frankly, not that much of the economic benefit is attaching to uh, the large telecom you know, companies, even though they're absolutely vital in maintaining the, the infrastructure. And there's not an easy workaround on that. I mean, certainly, uh, you know, they're decent stocks and, and they're, you know, there's some compensation for the amount of value that they create on the economy, but it clearly isn't. Uh, taking off like, like AI, to say the right. least.